In today's video, we're going to show you a magic trick. Not really. We're just going to show you how color removes color. Have you ever had one of those guests we all have that no matter what you do their skin when they're getting their hair touched up it stains especially if they're a level six or lower um, and darker sometimes people just stain and it depends on if they have very dry skin or whatever um, some people stain more than others what we have learned in the past and what we've been taught is to put a barrier around the hairline to protect the skin but what happens with that is when you put a barrier around there like using some kind of like almost like Vaseline. I don't want to, we're not using Vaseline, but everybody has their own product that they use. Um, but when you put that around the hairline, sometimes you coat the hair and those little tiny fine hairs that are around the hairline, most of the time those are gray. And guess what? Those are the ones that the clients see in the mirror when they go home. And if you're covering them up with a barrier, you can't, the, the color can't get to it. So what do we do? Because you wanna get all those hairs covered with the color, right? So I'm gonna show you, oh my goodness, it's like a, it's a secret that nobody talks about. I don't understand. Color removes color. Now color does not remove color on our hair, like every hairstylist since the beginning of time. Color does not lift color. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about color, removing color at the shampoo bowl. So here we go. We, we've got our uh, tint. It's already done. It's processed. We're ready to rinse our guest. What we want to do, take the guest back to the shampoo bowl before you even turn on the water. Take a little bit of that wet color that's on their scalp in your fingertips and start rubbing it around their hairline. And you do have to kind of rub until you see the color shifting. So just rub, 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 but make, make sure it's moist enough with the color, not water, not water. Water will set the color. So in this video, I'm showing you that on one side, we, we are showing where we take color to remove the color and I wipe it off with a towel. On the other side, we just put water on there and the water sets the color. Once you go to shampoo that, I'm going to, I'm going to show you the difference on either side. You can see one side, there's no staining on the other side, there's staining. That's what I'm trying to demonstrate. So if you could just remember, because what happens is we get busy or our assistants or, uh, you know, or we just don't know, um, we go back there and we start the water going and we spray. And as soon as that water hits that head, it's set. There's nothing you can do about it. Then you can use all kinds of color remover. I've even heard people say fingernail polish remover, whatever. No. Now, if they do stain, please tell them not to worry. Okay. It, it, your, the natural oils in your skin will actually take the stain off the skin. So if they do stain, don't freak out and please don't let them freak out. Just say, um, you know, ah, um, Give it 24 hours and it should come off. So sorry about that. Maybe style their hair not away from their face. Maybe cover it. Um, and some people already know that they stain. And wouldn't it be incredible if you were the one that they came to and you didn't stain their skin? Wouldn't that be great? Okay, so this side we, we did with color removing color. No staining. This side we just rinsed with water and shampoo and stain your skin. Use this magic trick, okay? I think you'll get a lot of, of use out of it and it'll, it'll make you look so good. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching this video. Um, if you liked it, please press the like button. Please subscribe to our channel and also listen to us on our podcast. We'd love to see you over there too. Again, we love your feedback and until next time, keep practicing.